YouTube team, keep it clean, man. Yesterday, uh, with all the craziness that was going on yesterday, I didn't even catch this until way later. I hadn't even seen that the Ravens signed Devon Kennard. That one, like, kind of like slipped under the radar. Um, but anyway, first and foremost, good morning. I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Yesterday was so funny, man. Yesterday was funny. It's crazy because um, Ravens, um, Ravens fans. Uh, Ravens Twitter, Ravens this and Ravens that. Um, so many people see so many things so differently. Um, but when a lot of people express how they see things differently, it can get really funny. Like, literally funny. Like, I'm laughing at it funny. When it's rude and disrespectful, ain't no need for all that. But it sometimes it can be really funny. Not the rude and disrespectful stuff, but the way that people express uh, how they're feeling about different things. But anyway, um, the Ravens. Uh, it's been... It's been something at the pass rush this year at outside linebacker slash DN. Um, there's been a lot of activity there, uh, especially over the past couple of weeks, but really throughout the course of this season. Um, and it has not stopped uh, with the Ravens signing Devon Kennard. Um, he uh, he has actually played like literally in every single game this year for the Cardinals. He's played in every single one. Um, and he got three tackles. I mean, he wasn't a starter or anything this year, but he's been in all the games. Uh, so I, I guess he had some value to the Cardinals then, but they, um, I guess they cut him and the Ravens are signing him, uh, to their practice squad. But who is he? What is he? Uh, he is an outside linebacker. To me, uh, he moves more like a DN though, but he he don't really have his hand in the dirt, so he, he's standing up. So I guess he is an outside linebacker. Um, from what I saw, solid tackler. Uh, not the most athletic, not the most agile. Um, decent straight line speed, uh, decent pursuit. Um, and for the Ravens, I would just expect him to be a, a depth guy. I mean, obviously a depth guy because they signed him to the practice squad and not the active roster right now. Um, but I, I wonder if this move is more telling for something else. Uh, reason I say that is, is it could mean a couple of different things. And I think it could really mean three things. Jason Pierre Paul is healthy, so no worries there. Um, Adafi Away is healthy, so also no worries there. Uh, but for me, this move will really speak either about Justin Houston, or actually four people Justin Houston, uh, Tyus Bowser, David Ajabo, even maybe AJ Klein, maybe. I, that's that one's uh, maybe, but really the first three are, are, are bigger concern. Um, with with AJ Klein, the only reason, the only thing I can see it possibly meaning for him is that maybe they want to make a swap, but that's it. But really, for the other guys, it's more important. With Justin Houston, um, the possibility there uh, would be that his injury would be. Uh, not necessarily worse than they initially thought, but it's just lingering. It's just lingering. And again, same thing we've been saying from jump with a groin injury. They they can be quick or they can be long. It's just it can be no telling with a groin injury. Um, so it could be like, hey, it could be one of those things that, hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Well, even though the Ravens didn't really go into the season ready at outside linebacker, but I get it. They, they did sign some guys just to fill the spots. Until all the guys that they drafted over the past couple of years, like a Tyus Bowser, um, and of course this year David Ajabo, um, so they can get their drafted guys back because uh, their drafted guys had Achilles injuries. Um, but it could mean that Justin Houston may be out for a little longer than they thought. Uh, with Tyus Bowser, uh, Tyus Bowser and David Ajabo, they both practiced last week, so they they seem to be on the road to recovery. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, with Tyus Bowser, I think he's much more of a short thing that he plays this year, uh, more so than David Ajabo. Not saying David Ajabo won't play, but I think Tyus Bowser is much more of a certainty. Um, with the 21-day window, something to keep in mind, it is not a guarantee that just because somebody starts practicing with that 21-day window that they play this year. It's not a guarantee. It's most likely, but it's, it's still not a guarantee. Uh, and we hope that with David Ajabo, everything goes nice and smooth and squeaky clean and he can make his debut for the Baltimore Ravens this year. Um, but one thing that we do know, one thing that we have seen, 
um, is that with the Ravens, they're not taking any chances. They are being extra, extra, extra cautious um, with everything. Like, for instance, I mean, y'all obviously saw Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley made the active roster uh, and even started practicing, but they did not play him. They didn't play him for a little while. And then finally, when they did play him, they had him on a, on a, a snap count. They had him on a pitch count. I'm like, man, a pitch count for offensive line? I've never heard of that before. But they did it because they, they wanted to ease him back in slowly, very slowly. So extra cautious. Um, J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins. Same thing. J.K. Dobbins came back. He's on the active roster. But the Ravens were like, no. He was practicing. The Ravens were like, no, not yet. Just wait. And then when he finally did play, he was on a pitch count. And it seems like, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like his pitch count, it seems like it's been actually going down now uh, the longer that he's been out there. But I, I do know that um, on the Sunday this past game, they said that he had like some, he was having some issues with his knee. Uh, so they were like, no, 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 not not this field. Nope, not J.K. Dobbins. Off, off of the field right now. And thank goodness that uh, Drizzy Drake, uh, that he was doing his thing um, on Sunday. Probably should have been used a little bit more, but hey, it's, 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 it is what it is. Um, so you got to expect, like with a Tyus Bowser, but with definitely with a Tyus, but really with everybody though, that they're definitely going to be extra, extra cautious. Um, and then with Gus Edwards too. Gus Edwards, he, he started practicing last week, so that's a good thing as well. But I, I just think this... Um, the Devon Kennard signing is just really, uh, really just to, to make sure to, to continue to allow the guys that the Ravens are getting back um, to, to ease back in that much more. Because, again, they're not on the active roster yet. Well, Justin Houston is, but Tyus Bowser and uh, David Ajabo, they're not on the active roster yet. So they're not taking up one of the 53 uh, roster spots. And. People on the practice squad, they don't take up any of the 53-man roster spots. They have a, what is it, a 16-man practice squad, I think? I believe it's 16-man. Maybe it changed, but I think it's a 16-man practice squad. Um, but that just, it gives them flexibility. And in the NFL, especially with the NFL roster, you want as much possible flex. You want as much flexibility as you possibly can get. Um, and them signing Kennard to the practice squad, it gives them Excuse me, it gives them that, um, but it also, like I said, it puts less pressure on them as far as getting their guys back. I mean, go, go, of course you want your guys back because your pass rush has been wishy-washy throughout this whole season. Um, so the more guys, the merrier. Uh, the more guys, the more rotation. Um, the more guys, the more quality you have. Uh, so it'd just be nice to get everybody back. But eventually, one day, someday, hopefully. But we'll see how things go. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. I always thank you all for watching because you don't have to watch at all. Uh, but you choose to. Um, you show support. You show love. So I always appreciate I ain't never going to stop appreciating that, for real. Because y'all y'all are y'all are a lot of good people, man. A lot of good people out there for team, keep it clean, man. And y'all are special. Uh, and y'all mean a whole lot to me. So I appreciate y'all. Uh, on that note, I'll see y'all later on today. Um, <laughs> and we'll, we'll hear about Deshaun Jackson, uh, about his visit, uh, if he comes and goes or if he ends up signing today or whatever it ends up being, uh, we'll see. But if I had to guess, I would guess that the Ravens, they sign him, uh, in time so he can start practicing. I would think they will sign him to the practice squad, uh, so they, so he can start practicing like tomorrow. So We'll see how it goes. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And we out.